With the rise of big bold captions in videos from the likes of Mr. Beast, a lot of people have started to implement a similar style in their own videos to make it more engaging. However, captions can be quite time consuming to do if you don't know how to create them in the most optimal way. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the fastest way to create captions in Premiere Pro and how to add a bounce effect like in the Mr. Beast videos. So just before I go into the steps, I'm gonna show you in real time how quickly I can recreate it using textiles and presets. So I've got a little video intro clip here from one of the Mr. Beast videos. This is a never ending giant mountain of cash. So I'm gonna head over to text Next, transcript. I've done the transcript. This is a never ending mounting of cache. Create captions. Maximum length to seven. Single line. Create captions. Gonna highlight those. Central graphics. Track style. Mr. Beast. Graphics and titles. Upgrade captions to graphics. Highlight those. Effects. Mr. Beast captions. And there we go, done. This is a never ending giant mountain of cat. And so it's not perfect, but as you can see there, I literally took the transcript and converted them into captions just like Mr. Beast in a matter of about 10 to 15 seconds. So in this video, I'm going to break down the steps of how I achieved that. Okay, so the first step is we're going to head over to text and we are going to click on transcript and we're going to transcribe the video. So I've already done it, but I'll read it. So we're going to go on retranscribe. It'll come up with here. These can all stay the same and you want to transcribe. Sometimes this doesn't do it accurately. And so if you do want to change some of the text because it's wrong, you just double click it in here and you can just go in and out there. And if you want to check it, you just click on the word and it will move the video along there. I have found that Premiere Pro is not the best at transcribing speech to text, but when you can just click in here and just go through it and change stuff, it's actually not too bad. So you just want to make sure you do that before converting to captions. You're then going to want to click create captions, go on preferences, maximum length and characters. I personally have this around seven to 10. It doesn't matter. Again, you can just play around with it and you can make changes to how it comes out after. So I'm just going to go seven for this one. Minimum duration of seconds, leave that at three. And then I'm going to go on lines, single create captions right now. This is going to create the captions on a subtitle track. So the next step is that I'm gonna now want to change this text here. So as you can see, it's just kind of defaulted to the standard text at the bottom here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all of those, click on essential graphics and then click on edit. And this is gonna allow me to edit this text here. And so now we want to create a text style. So I'm going to choose the font here. Uh, you don't obviously have to use that Mr. Beast font. I'm just doing it for the purpose of the video. So that is here. I'm gonna then center this. I'm going to make the text a bit bigger and then I'm gonna add a stroke. It's really important that you center it here if you want to use animations with my method because if it's not in the center, it means that when you convert it from caption to a graphic, it means the anchor point is in the middle and the text is not, which means that the animation is just gonna be slightly off. So if you know you're gonna add an animation, make sure you create this Star Wars like your animation preset. If you're not gonna add an animation, there is honestly no point of upgrading captions to graphics in my opinion. You might as well just keep it on here and then just move the text around to where you want. So you might wanna put it down at the bottom here and just leave it there. And you don't need an animation uh, there and you can just keep it there. Some people might want that. So once you're happy with the styling essentially and you've centered it, you're then going to want to save it. And to do that, you want to just click off of these and then just click on one of them. It doesn't let you save it when they're all highlighted for some reason. You want to click on track style, create style. And let's just call this one Mr. B uh, V2. And that's going to save the style there. Just one thing to note, when you do create a new textile preset, it will only save to the current project. It won't be saved to all projects. So the best thing to do is to just have like a template project file with all of your textile presets and then open that and then save as to whatever project you're working on. So then all of the textile presets will be there. Now, what I want to do is I want to highlight all of these, go over to graphics and titles and click upgrade captions to graphics. This is now going to allow me to add the animation. So to do that, we're gonna use the transform preset. So we're gonna click on one of these here, go to effects, find the transform preset under distort, drag and drop that over. And so the way we're going to create that animation effect is we're going to add some keyframes to the transform effect. 
As you can see here, when I click on that, the anchor point is in the middle. Like I said, that's why it's important that we move it over to the center. You can do it other ways. This is just more efficient and quicker doing it like this. And then I'll show you how to actually move it after. Because the problem is, is you've got anchor points on the vector motion, you've got anchor points on the transform, and you've got anchor points on the text itself. So this is the best way that I have found to make sure that the anchor point is just constantly staying in the middle and you still get the effect that you want. So when we're on the transform effect, we're gonna bring this to the start, click on scale. We're gonna move along three keyframes and we're gonna put this to 115. Then we're gonna move along another couple of keyframes and we're gonna put this to 105. Now you can see there's a little bit of a, a bounce effect there. Now we obviously don't want the caption in the middle. Well, you might do. Um, if you're happy with the caption in the middle, then you could just click the transform, save the preset, make sure you save anchor to in point so that basically the anchor points are having the same impact no matter the length of the clip. If you've got a longer clip and you just save it to scale, it will mess up the animation slightly. So make sure you save it anchor to in point and you'd save that and that would then give you that animation. However, if you know that you want them at the bottom here, you can make this a lot quicker. Uh, so what you then do is you go to video, uh, then motion go on position i'll then move this down to where i want and what i'll then do is i will click on motion click on transform save preset and let's just go mr beast bounce effect anchor to in point okay and that's done so now what i'm going to do is just show you and just remove all of the attributes that i have just added so now we've got our text in the middle after we did the styling and then upgraded captions to graphics. I'm going to highlight all of these captions here. We're going to go and find that bounce effect, Mr. Beast bounce effect. Drag that over. That's going to move it down. This is a never ending giant mountain. And there we go. I'll just get rid of the video for you just so that you can see the captions on their own. This is a never ending giant mountain of cat. And so there we go. That's done. What I would recommend is for these keyframes, have a play around with them just so that you get the desired effect that you want. You might want more bounce, you might want less bounce, and you can achieve that by moving them further apart, changing the scale. And so, yeah, that's done. What I'd recommend is just creating different presets for different scenarios where you have your captions. Sometimes, yeah, you might like them in the middle. Sometimes you might like them in the bottom. So it's better if you just create presets and just label them like middle, bottom, and the same with the textile presets. Because for me personally, I would just have them straight at the bottom and I wouldn't have the animation effect on most of my videos. So all I do is just create a textile preset that converts it to the font and style that I want and then moves it to the bottom. So then I literally just have to just change the style on the subtitles and it does it instantly. But again, if you want the animations, got to upgrade them to captions and then add that transform preset that you've created and then yeah done but yeah if you have any questions or you struggle to do it or it's just not quite working for you then drop them down below but yeah if you <laughs> if you do have problems and it doesn't look right it's usually because the anchor point somewhere is just wrong or uh, like the off centered or something and that's why it will look like the text is bouncing from the bottom or the top rather than kind of from the middle uh, so yeah so just watch out for that but yeah if you have any questions or comments or issues then just drop them down below and i'll try and help out but yeah, other than that, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.